Jonathan Allen here from Camp RV in Trafford, Ontario. Today's video I'm going to feature the 2020 Flagstaff Superlight 529BH. This one here is a 29 foot box length ultralight fifth wheel made by Flagstaff RV. It weighs 8,900 8, pounds dry weight. And this is a two bedroom model so it's got a front queen bedroom and a rear bunk room. Uh, it's also equipped with two power slide outs and it has an outside kitchen. So we'll give you a nice walk around here today and then we'll check out the interior. So Flagstaff uses a two-tone fiberglass exterior. It's got a one-piece fiberglass cap. You can see it's got built-in LED lights on it and then marker lights up in the top corner are LED as well. This model is also equipped with the trail air, trail air turning point pin box. So that pin box will actually pivot back towards uh, where it connects to the fifth wheel. So it allows you to have a better turning radius with short box trucks. You can see here, this one is in the champagne exterior. It is available in a white exterior as well. You got LED light on the front there. You can see you got storage at the front. Battery disconnect switches in there. Your battery box is in there. You got some extra storage in there. And they use slam latch baggage doors. And they are metal latches, not plastic. So it'll just slam shut. Power landing gear, so just touch of a button, puts the jacks up and down at the front. And then the light here is for the lights on the, or sorry, the switch here is for the lights on the front fiberglass cap. Pre-wired for a portable solar panel, so you can get a panel that'll plug right in. As I mentioned, this, this model has two power slide outs. They're both on the off door side. One is up in the front bedroom and one is in the main living area. Got two 30 pound propane tanks, there's one on each side. So you got a 30 pounder here and then there's one on the other side of the trailer as well. Basement storage. So and they use magnets that'll hold that door open. So there's a magnet on the back of the door there. And then it'll hold that open for you so you're not having to hold it open with your head. And that storage goes right through one side to the other. You can see all the welded aluminum framing. And then also the, the convenience slash docking center is here. So all your hookups are here. The city water hookup, uh, the black tank flusher, your winterizing, everything is all centrally located right here. You also got a spray port here, as well as some power outlets in there. And as you can see, there's LED lights in there as well. Water purification system. And again, slam latch doors, so they just slam shut. You got an LED light on this side. Sewer hookup down below there, black and gray water valves. It's got frameless windows all the way around. The only place that it doesn't have the frameless windows are on the ends of the slides, but anywhere else. Nice dark tint to the windows. Extra storage compartments everywhere. This is underneath the dinette inside. And you get storage accessible all the way around. Another storage compartment here. Odds and ends you can keep in here. It's a nice tall compartment. Second sewer hookup at the back here. Just because you do have a separate gray tank back here. And then power stabilizer jacks at the back. So just touch of a button goes up and down. 50 amp power hookup at the back here. City water uh, connection, so that's where you fill your freshwater holding tank. We ordered this one with the optional flip down bike rack, but it can be used for cargo as well. Also has the roof ladder to access the roof for cleaning and servicing. Pre-wired for a backup camera. So you got LED tail lights on the back. Another storage compartment back here. This is underneath the bunks area. As I mentioned, we ordered this one has the outside kitchen on it. So you get an outside grill. It's a stainless steel grill. With that, it just folds up. And the lid closes. You can see it just unlatches on each side. And slides right in. Locks it into place. 
So you got some extra storage up above. There's a power outlet there. We also have the fridge. There's the button for the power jacks at the back. And then there's an outside water hook up here again. Hot and cold tap. So if you're doing cooking outside, you got access to a sprayer right there. And the outside kitchen again has the slam latch doors. So they just slam shut. Power awning. It does have built-in LED lights. And then I when you have the awning all the way out, you do have a spring arm here, so which can be used as a dump valve. So you can use that to put the awning on an angle if you want the water to be able to trickle off on one side. Or if you leave it loose as water collects on the awning, when it gets to a certain weight, it'll allow it'll dump on one side, allow the water to trickle off, and then it'll spring right back up. It does have outdoor speakers on it. It's also equipped with the Wi-Fi Ranger. It's called the Sky 4 Wi-Fi Ranger, which is has built-in LTE technology. Outside TV hookup here. So you got power and cable hookup. And then you've also got a spot to mount the TV outside. And this one does have the spot for the barbecue. So you got the rack on the side, propane hookup underneath. I know it's tough to see, but it is down there. Spare tires mounted underneath as well. Large entry assist handle beside the door. Another storage compartment here for odds and ends. And again, the slam latch doors. And then you saw the storage from the other side. This just gives you access to the storage from this side as well. And that is a heated compartment, so anything that you put in there will stay warm because it does have an enclosed and heated underbelly on it. Uh, it does have the new style stairs, so they're uh, more ride. It's called the Step Above, made by More Ride. So they will fold right into the door frame. Just once you open up your door, they're on a spring, so there's next to no weight to them. They'll fold right up, and then the door will close right over top. It gives it a nice clean look from the outside. stairs just fold right back out and they are adjustable so you have legs that you can adjust if you're on unlevel ground and then it does have the screen door that'll separate so you can just use your screen door if you like right when we walk in we got the sofa right in front of us here which will pull out to a bed nice big open living area with the slide out so you got a large U-shaped dinette that will drop down into a bed. There's storage down below. And you can lift up the cushions to access the storage that's all the way around. Because that is accessible from outside. One side has a drawer on it. The other side is a cupboard door that opens up. You can see nice big windows. Allows notch, lots of natural light in. All the windows are equipped with day-night shades. Overhead cabinets up above the sofa. Some nice... Decorative lighting up above, Come, this one has a ceiling fan as well. All the interior lights are LED, so nice and bright and very energy efficient. Entertainment cabinet is right across from the dinette. So you do have the wall mounted TV, it's a high definition sharp. And then you've got the electric fireplace down below. Built in stereo which is AM, FM, CD, DVD and Bluetooth. Also has HDMI, USB and auxiliary plug right on the front. You can see you got the sound bar above that. Cabinets up above for storage. Kitchen area, you can see lots of drawers, lots of cupboards. Flip up countertop extension, which that does flip down for when the slide comes in. Solid surface countertop, so as opposed to being a wood based. And then you do have stainless steel sinks with the sink covers. You got the slots in the one sink covers, so you can allow your dishes to drip dry into the sink. Also has the pull out sprayer. You got the Max Air fan, so it's in the roof vent up above. Comes with a remote control, so we don't have batteries in there, but you hit, turn it on and off to open and close it, or to uh, speed it up or slow it down. You don't actually have to crawl up or climb up there to get at it. You actually have a remote control for it. Does have the fridge in the slide out beside the U-shaped dinette. Propane and electric fridge. 
and then as well as some extra storage great spot to be used as a pantry and then the fridge when you turn it on you do have a light inside the fridge and then the bunk room is at the back so you can see you got the built-in ladder lots of storage larger bunk on the bottom it's got the guard rail so nobody's gonna fall out TV is wired in here as well you got a spot that you can wire in a TV so there's a backer on the wall where you can mount one and you can see lots of storage in there and then in the bunk room you do have some outlets for power each bunk has its own window as well We'll make our way up to the front bedroom. So you got wood treads on the stairs. There's absolutely no carpet other than in your slide out, which is nice. So it's all one piece linoleum floor. It's easy to clean. So wood treads on the stairs. You got a nice rail for grabbing on when you're going up and down. Control panels on the on the wall here. So all the slides and the awnings and everything's all centrally located right here as well as your thermostat for your furnace and AC. Even some minor touches. They've got a magnetic catch for the door. It'll hold that door into place. Queen bedroom's right at the front. Walk around queen bed. You got the overhead cabinets up above. You can see you got outlets on both sides of the bed and there is USB and 12 volt plug on the one side as well. Another fan built into the uh, roof vent above the bed. Big wardrobe in the slide out. Lots of room for hanging your clothes in there. And then a, another spot for folded clothes. And then storage on each side there. Bedroom is pre-wired for a TV. You can see you got a spot where you can mount a TV on the wall. Cable and satellite hookups. It's got a digital TV antenna on the roof as well. And then the bathroom, which is en suite, so you can get to the bathroom from the bedroom or from the hallway. So you got the vanity with storage and a medicine cabinet. Nice foot flush toilet. Again, roof vent with a built-in fan, and again you got the remote control for that. And then the corner shower with the sliding doors, full sh shower surround and a skylight up above. So lots of natural light in here, but as well as with that skylight gives you more headroom in the shower. And you'll see the only spot you have carpet is in the bedroom, so keeps the feet nice and warm at night. But again, in the bathroom, in the hallway, it's all linoleum. So again, this is the 2020 Flagstaff Superlight 529BH. So we do have this model in, in stock. Come on in and see us anytime and we'd love to show you through. Uh, my name is Jonathan Allen. Thank you again for watching our video. Uh, we do have quite a few Flagstaff units in stock. We always have them on order. You can view all of our available inventory on our website, which is campoutrv.com. You can see we got some Flagstaffs in the lineup here, right beside our Columbuses. Uh, but uh, you can check out all the avail available inventory on our website, camp.rv.com. Visit us on social media. We got Facebook, we got Instagram, great YouTube channel. But again, we'd love to have you here and show you through this great floor plan. Uh, see if we can find something suitable for you. So thank you again for watching our video. Have a great day.